What's going on, y'all? This is Beretta19 back with y'all with another cooking video. Cooking with Beretta. Today, you guys, first of all, I hope everybody had a blessed day. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's doing all right. Today, you guys, you're having steaks, greens, and macaroni. These are steaks I'm using here. Okay. Just got a little traditional box of mac and cheese. And these are the greens here that I'm using. Okay, that's what I will be eating today. Steak greens and macaroni. Okay, I ain't eat much. Like I said, I don't hardly ever eat much. So for dinner time, but uh, let's get this baby, get everything going here. There we go. All right. Of course, you guys, I'm using pan, like I said. The spray grease, y'all. No weird flavor or nothing like that. It's olive oil. Get that going. Whew. Let that heat up. I'm using the steaks right here, like I said. And if you wonder what season I'm using, the same season I used before. Steak and chop. Okay? That's what I'm seasoning with. Letting this uh, warm up here. I hope everybody had a blessed day. I hope everybody is doing very good today. I hope everybody is. You guys, let me tell you something. I try to eat, you know, because I ain't feel like cooking the other two days. I try to eat something, you know, out or a little fast food. You guys, it tasted terrible. And I don't think it's because the name of the uh, places I went. It's because once you, once your body get used to eating, you know, good food good home cooked food the way it should be you don't have everything else need like fast food it tastes nasty to you okay all right okay all right hold on one second y'all okay as you guys can see they're real real thin steaks time to add some seasoning on there I'm gonna do. I try not to do too too much. Okay. Let that one get all hooked up there. I guess they're real real thin. You got bottom round. You got shrimp steak. And then, uh, oh, I'm gonna show you guys something. I did a little bit of shopping today. A little bit. Tomorrow or whenever and everything. I got some sausage here. Be cooking some breakfast too tonight. Uh, also, I got my watermelon. Always eat as much food as you guys can, okay? And of course, my favorite drink on this planet I love me some lemonade. Got to have my lemonade, y'all. You guys didn't know I got the steaks back again. Get this back out of there. Whoops. Now, I'm not cooking that tonight, I'm just showing you. They, they tasted so good, you guys. Oh, my God. Let's break it up a little bit. But they tasted, I got the chicken ones, too. Because I just did a little shopping today. Still got my hot dogs and stuff. And also, got some hamburger. So, like I said and everything. Um, with that guys and everything they did a little shopping today i'd probably do some more shopping uh monday or tuesday or whatever and everything but like i said i tried to eat that damn food you guys that fast food it was horrible I had my stomach all messed up and everything and i said oh no i'm good man i'm good i am good cook these steaks and eat y'all one thing I like to eat and everything, but I eat in portions. And I don't just keep eating, eat, 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 eat. You know, make sure and everything, you know, that you know when you eat, you know, get a good serving, you know, enough food and everything, you get food. Don't keep eating till you explode now. Just, you know, try to modernize it a little bit. Yeah, like I said, if you didn't see before, the kind of steak is called bottom round. And as you see, they're real skinny. I gotta find the steak. I know you got steak um steak amongst. 
and everything, but I want to find the stake where, there we go. I want to find the stake. Hold on one second. I want to find the, uh, the place where the cheese steak is at. That's the one I want to do. I'm do where the cheese steak is at. This tastes look good. You see some both sides here. Try my best not to put too much on here, y'all. I know some people you be saying they put all kind of damn season. As soon as they start eating, they get the coughing and everything. All right. Letting that sit. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. Yeah, like I said, I'll tell you something else. Now. Like I said, um, when you cook for yourself, when you cook as homemade food and everything, it'd be the best, y'all. It'd be the best. Be some of the best foods you can, you can eat. I highly recommend, I recommend this Pam, too. This olive oil and everything. It's real, real good. Keep your pan nice and greased. And true, like I said, you ain't got to use really a lot of, you know, like, you know, the pouring of the oil and everything. You just need this little spray oil and everything, you should be good. Ooh, that is looking good, and I am good and hungry, y'all. Only thing I had today was a protein bar, and I think some orange juice or something. I'm not mistaken. And to anybody who's vegetarian out there or a quote-unquote vegan and everything, I'm telling you, you are robbing your body and everything. Not knocking you, I ain't putting you down, so don't think I am. If that's what you want to do, it's your body. I'm just saying, you, you really withholding a lot of proteins and minerals and vitamins that your body needs from a certain meat like steak. Uh, now, I'll tell you right now, I don't do no ham chops. I don't do no, uh, is that pig feet and all that shit? I don't do all that. That I don't do. They, they, can, hang, they can hang that shit up. I don't do that and everything. I don't eat neck bones, I don't eat none of that. Now I like ribs, well, only when they made right though. I like ribs only when they made right. But outside of that, I don't eat a lot of pork. I don't every time I eat some. Like I say, it's not a study diet of it. You know, anything, too much of anything, too much of any one thing is, is not good for you anyway. So, I try to, you know, mix it up like, like you guys saw. The other night I had pastrami, tonight I'm having steak. The other night I had, um, what was it, I ate. I had a sub and everything from a place and everything. I said, uh, that's when I ate out and everything. It didn't sit too well with me. But as far as cooking out, I was cooking chicken alfredo on here. Cook the, oh, I've cooked the, uh, the steak and rice on here and everything. The steak with the brown rice. Y'all, that brown rice is kicking. You ain't hip to the brown rice, I don't know what you're doing. That shit was kicking. Ooh, it was kicking. That baby was good. Steak. I like how it's seasoning. Uh, nice how juicy these steaks are coming out. I'll buy some more of these in the future. They coming out nice. Like I said, they super thin, y'all. They super thin. It's not like a big old, you know, 32 ounce T-bone or something like that. These are some good steaks. And once again, I went to Walmart. Walmart is my favorite place to shop, period. I mean, that's just me. No, it ain't gotta be you. It's just me. But yeah, so like I said to my vegans, I'm not knocking you. You know, and I try to do any of that. But your body do need, you know, certain stuff from certain red meat and everything. I understand you wanna, you know, be eat healthy and everything. I'm not telling you to study dose of steak and burger and all that. I'm not. That's not what I'm telling you. But it won't hurt you to eat it every now and then. Okay. Just like, believe it or not, it won't hurt you to have a one or two pops a week. You're not a big pop drinker, or you really don't drink pop, believe it or not, sometimes, especially when you get like, I'll tell you this, this happened to me. I remember a time I had a stomach ache real bad, you guys. I drunk some, you no, know, it gotta be fresh cold pop, though. Drunk some pop, that acid in the pop and everything killed what was in my stomach and everything. And uh, maybe within an hour, I started feeling better. So sometimes and everything, and some else, you guys, don't get caught up with what America tell you to eat and what you're talking about experts and everything. Ain't nobody no expert of your body other than Jesus and yourself. Okay, Jesus is the one that created your body, not no damn scientist. Okay? Scientists don't always know what's best. 
or doctors and all that and everything. So they did, it wouldn't be no damn male practice. They did, it wouldn't be certain things that wouldn't happen. So I'm just telling you guys and everything. You know? It's good to eat. To eat good too. But something else I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get an oven so I can bake some cornbread on here. Oh yeah. I think that should be enough. Alright. I said these are super super thin. I have more than just uh, three or four. Like I said, I'm planning on eating good. Gonna hit it with that seasoning. Mm. Alright. Mm. But yeah. Like I said, it's nothing wrong with being vegan. No. I applaud it, but I'm just telling you. You know? Don't don't eat something because somebody's telling you to eat. Eat healthy, yes. Work out, yes. Drink plenty of water, yes. But you know, it's not gonna kill you to have a steak every now and then. It's not gonna kill you to have a little red meat every now and then. Again, I don't say a steady dose. But I'm just saying it's not gonna kill you. Alright? But um I'm just telling you guys and everything. You know, everything gonna work out. You know, cook at home and everything. Nothing wrong with cooking. I love to cook and everything. I've never, it actually is one of my best skills, one of my best talents and everything is cooking. I love to cook and everything. So, I'm just telling you guys and everything to work hard and everything and uh, enjoy your life, y'all. You know, eat, eat good and everything. Remember, you only live once on God Earth. So, I advise you to live it to the fullest. I ain't say live it crazy now. I'm just saying just live it to the fullest. Don't them babies look good. Woo. Right. Hit it with that seasoning, y'all. Mm -hmm. Gotta hit it with it. Oh, season both sides. Alright. Once again, you guys, got this at Walmart, $4. Well, actually, I think it was $3. The steak and chop and everything. It's good seasoning. Good seasoning. You can use it for pork chops, steak, you know, just about anything. I even have used it for hamburger at one time. And it was it turned out pretty good. So tell you guys and everything, you know, get out here and enjoy yourself. And again, like I said, I'm on my truck cooking. But get out here and do what it is you do. And everything. Enjoy yourself. You know, do what it is you do. God bless you. But uh yeah, cook more at home, y'all. It's all the Wives and mothers out there, please cook more at home. And to all the fathers and husbands out there, cook more at home. If you don't know how to cook, hell, go take a damn cooking class. I'm telling you, you'll be better off. Don't try to eat again. Don't try to eat like what America tell you to eat like. You no know, eat, eat good. Okay. Remember, don't nobody know your body better than God first because he's the one created, whether you're man or woman, and you second. If you're allergic to something or something don't set well with you and your doctor keep trying to prescribe it to you, keep telling his ass or her ass that it ain't good, don't do it. Don't nobody know your body like you. Always understand that. You, the only, you know your body better than anybody. You know what your body can take and you know what your body can't take. Like I said, I don't really eat ribs unless, unless they made right. Because I've had some bad experience with ribs and everything. You don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm just telling you. They eat good. And then some else, you guys, when you eat good and you had a good shower like I did today, that I shut down real early and everything, you sleep better. I don't know what it is and everything, but every time I've been, since I've been cooking on the truck more often and everything, I mean, I cooked on there before, but since I've been cooking on it more often, I've been sleeping better. Uh, I've had more energy when I got up in the morning ready to dry. You know? Because you know what's going into your food. Because it's you the one putting it in there. Versus somebody else making your food. And then if you think about it, when you go to these damn restaurants, half the time they mess your damn order up. You tell them I want me a medium well steak and everything, they end up giving you a uh, well done one. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. Woo, that's so good. All right, y'all. Hold on one second. I got to get the greens prepared. Hold on. All right, you guys. Just added my greens. Don't worry. I cleaned the pan. I cleaned the spatula. Ain't got to worry. Actually, I got a spoon for them. But 
I just use that. But yeah, added my greens. Oh, what is that? Shit. And once again, you guys, these are good greens, they're canned greens, collard greens, southern style. One thing, like I say again, y'all, it don't take long to prepare to, to prepare these meals. Okay, it don't take long. It don't take long at all. Okay. I'm waiting on that. Got my snakes here covered up. And after I get through with these greens, I throw my macaroni in my pot here. Crab man, I've hauled for uh, macaroni and cheese before. I could have went with Stouffer's, but you know, I didn't. So, there we go. Now we getting the bird. Huh? Okay. Yeah, uh, my people, like I said, you don't like to use a lot of oil, a lot of grease. I recommend getting your spray. And they got different types. You got olive oil, uh, the other oils you can spray and everything. That's all Pam is. It's just a spray oil. That's all. We ain't got to just dump, you know, loads and loads of um, oil in the pot and everything. So, it's good too. And look at that. No fat, carbohydrate. Pretty good. Hold on one second, y'all. I was letting this cook here, but hold on one second. All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. As you see, the greens got done. They're nice and warm. Okay, we got the steak, got the greens. Now, I know some of y'all like to throw salt, a little bit of salt in y'all greens. I didn't have any salt, but I probably put a little bit in it. Not much now. Okay, we're trying to get somebody diabetes out here. Okay. Got my water ready, my water prepped. For the mac and cheese. And after that, that'll be it. But yeah, these are all the uh, ingredients I use. Like I said, steak, greens, mac and cheese. Four course meal. If I had a, uh, I'm going to buy me an oven next week. So that way I can cook some cornbread and everything that I want to do. So I have some uh, cornbread, I definitely will cook it. I say again, you guys, if you are not hip to brown rice, please get hip to it. That shit is delicious. Ooh, it's delicious. Man, it's delicious. All right, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm going to uh, let this cook for a while. I'm going to uh, come back here. I'm going to uh, come back here in a minute. And um, I'm going to uh, put the mac and cheese in. That's why I bring you guys back. Hold on. All right, y'all. Got the water to boil. Got my mac and cheese in. I know some of y'all, you know, like your homemade and all that. I know I make homemade mac and cheese, but again, I'm on a truck, not in a kitchen. And I will say this, I'm going to add some uh, butter to it, too. And, of course, the sauce. So, just about done with my meal. As you guys see, it didn't take long. At the most. Like I said, one thing I like about this burner and everything, it don't take long for it to heat up or anything. Get everything boiled. Get everything together. Okay. Or well, some of us, when you're cooking box macaroni and cheese, or any kind of mac and cheese you just put in there, make sure it don't stick to the pie. And this is a, both pots. Let me. My, the pot and pan I have are both are non-stick. Okay. They mean you know a little bit of. A little bit of English, you can get loosen up any food or some of us on there. But yeah, cook that. It's cooking and everything. Take our top. Wait for that to get done. Okay. Next time I put you guys on here and everything, I'm going to uh, add the butter and have the um, the cheese mix in there and everything. Like I said, I know how to make mac and cheese too, but again, I'm not on the truck. I'm on a truck, not in the kitchen. All right, y'all. 
Hold on one second. All right, y'all. I just mixed the mac and cheese together. Like I said, with the butter, and then you see the cheese mix in there. This is Kraft mac and cheese. My dinner is officially done. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. I am officially done. I appreciate you guys for kicking in with me. Of course, I got my lemonade. Appreciate you guys for kicking in with me. Once again, this is steak, greens, and mac and cheese. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Remember, be blessed and always cook for yourself. Take care.